Welcome back everybody. So as per, I guess, the intro, you did see uh, this is the Bell's Two-Hearted Ale All-Grain Kit. Jessica stopped in to pick up some beer and she knows most of the people there. And the guy that she normally talks to um, asked her if I would like this kit for free so I didn't pay this Bells did give me this kit so this is an all grain kit now I have made the clone before uh, um, uh, Northern Brewer has a dead ringer I made it I believe twice but I've not bought the kit from Bells I believe they they had it last year when I got the Hop Slam one, but because I brewed the Dead Ringer, I was thinking this was probably going to be the same, so I did pass on it. So we'll just go ahead and look at the instructions and all that. You did see some of it in the intro, but we do have all the grains. They are unmilled. Um, let's just get everything out. Priming sugar we are not going to use this I'm just gonna set this to the side this is two row ten pounds of two row um, here is the little kit thing we will need to look at and all the paperwork in the bottom there we go and let's just throw this on the ground because we don't need it hopefully the dog just I scared the dog okay he's been moved okay so this kit includes all the grains all the hops uh, you do have to get your own yeast we'll see I, I have not looked at what yeast they say to use um, but I might use a different yeast than what they say as I do have some, let's say, WLP001 that is fermenting right now, so I could use that. Yeast wash, I'll link a video to how I do that, but what I've been doing with um, the Omega yeast is I brewed the Chinook, I brewed a Galaxy that you'll see, um, so I can just drain the Galaxy and put this in there but um, so for yeast uh, they say you can culture which we might do just to do a video and to drink more beer um, of what beers they say non Belgium's Oberon amber or best brown and you can um, culture that by leaving letting everything settle leaving the bottom pouring it out, then making a yeast starter from that. And they actually walk you through the steps um, to brew that. Sorry, the dog just went crazy. And this is just the packing list. So we'll put that to the side. I wanna get into the hops. So we'll go through what hops are in here. Then maybe on the side, what I'll do is put the hop schedule that I used for the Dead Ringer um, just to kind of see what the difference is from Bells versus them. Okay, then let's get this out of here. Now, uh, this is something, uh, I, I just thought about it. This kit is new because the packaging is too hearted. It's not their standard, uh, like in the hop slam that we did, they just grab the standard hops and put them in there. These are actually branded for th this beer itself. Okay, so, um, we have in this big one, it's Centennial Hops, 3.5 ounces. It says batch number two. We'll have to look at the instructions to see what that is. Um, Centennial Hops, 1.25 ounces, batch one. 
and Centennial Hops again, 1.25 batch two. So I don't know what that means. So let's look at the instructions real quick. Um, now this does say uh, two-hearted clone because obviously it's not done at Bell's, so that's why I that's I think that's why they're saying clone. Um, it does have heat 4.5 gallons of water to 163. Um, going into that, uh, okay. So the mash mash rest is 70 minutes on this we're gonna okay we're going to mash in at 150 for 45 minutes sorry obviously i just opened this so we're almost doing this live if you want to say uh when 45 minutes has passed uh spend 15 minutes slowly ramping temperature up to 170 um you uh, yeah, add two gallons of boiling water, we'll do that. Um, I'm gonna go with what the recipe says. I know my boil off is two hours, but what we're gonna do is pretty much do it like this and see what we get. So I'm guessing no matter what, we will be under five gallons, but we'll, we'll just go with it. So once we reach 170 in our, um, mash we will let it rest for 10 minutes uh then we'll sparge so this is almost a double mash so we're mashing at the 150 for 45 minutes then we are going to add some liquid to boost that up to 170 and then we will vorl off and then we will add our mash out water um, it says sparge with 175 um, to collect six and a half gallons of wort. Um, our pre-boil gravity will be 1050. Our original will be 1065. Final gravity will be 1010. Alcohol will be 7%. SRM is 10. And IBUs are 55 to 60 in this one. So just going by the ingredient list, just in case you wanna brew this along with me or brew it before me, uh, 10 pounds of two row, three pounds of pale malt, 0.5 pounds of caramel, 40L, uh, 1.25 ounces of Centennial at 45 minutes, 1.25 ounces at 30 minutes, then 3.5 ounces in the dry hop. Now that's a lot. I think the the other one didn't have that much. Maybe an ounce, the Dead Ringer from Northern Brewer. Um, Imperial A07 flagship ale liquid is what they recommend for yeast or US05. I'll try and find that Imperial A07 and see if we can go from there. Bells did switch from White Labs to Imperial, so I'm guessing they do have that there. But like I said, we might, depending on when I brew this, um, I might get some bottles. I don't know why they don't recommend just pulling from, um, you know, three bottles of um, Two Hearted. I would think that's what they would put on the actual car, car, uh, culturing yeast is just used too hard. But we'll go with what they say. Um, let's see if there's anything more in here. One thing I do like about Bells, and usually I don't make kits, so this is my second kit from them, but uh, they do give you a brew log down here to fill, fill all your stuff in and they do put like the targets of what they should be by the the line so that way you can put in your own and you don't have to keep on flipping back and forth to find out what it is i wish beer smith would do something like that when you print out the brew day it would just give you a list and put by the side what they are instead of you know having it all over the place um, 
Yeah, set a timer for 45 minutes. Uh, this is the boil uh, with 45 minutes left. Add the centennial. Um, then 30 minutes left. Add the other half of the centennial. So it is a 75 minute boil. Um, obviously you're going to want to cool. It does tell you what you want to cool down to. Then pitching your yeast. And that is about it. Yeah, so it should take about two weeks for this to finish up. We'll go two, three, uh, two or three weeks, and then um, we'll go from there. But yeah, looks like a pretty simple kit. Um, this was 30 bucks, as you saw by the picture. Um, I think that's a good price. I don't know if they just weren't selling and they were trying to get them out or if that's the cost. Um, usually their kits are 50. I think the Hop Slam and the Obron that I did get were both 50 and this one's 30. So I don't know what they're doing there, but maybe sometime we'll be able to interview somebody at Bell's and uh, we can ask them some questions. But yeah, we are going to brew this here soon. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Will you be brewing it? It would be fun to do another video uh, like we did on the Hot Slam where I send some of mine out. Somebody in, or some people send me their beers and then I can taste theirs versus mine just like we did in the Hop Slam. So thank you to Bells for sending me this. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, happy brewing. <laughs>